Hi, this is Juan from JuanTutors.com. Uh, welcome to my totally free office hours. Today we are working on the August 2016 New York Algebra 1 Common Core Regions Problem 7. If you want to access these exams, whether you're from New York or anywhere else in the world, go to nysedregions.org. Uh, click on the appropriate uh, links and, and all the tests uh, are freely available online. Uh, here we go. So what is the solution to 2 h plus 8 is greater than 3h minus 6 and there's uh, two choice uh, four choices here uh, h is less than 14 h is greater than 14 h is uh, 14 over h is less than 14 over 5 I'm sorry h is greater than 14 and h is greater than 14 over 5 so there are multiple ways that I'm sure you guys have seen of, of solving these problems so I'm gonna go over three different methods so that you have them available on this problem and then a the next problem so method one is plug uh, test points uh, test points meaning that if a point is inside of an interval uh, then the then will the answer which contains that interval could be an uh, could be one the answer but if a test if a interval does not contain a test point that satisfies the uh, inequality then that answer cannot be the answer vice versa if a point does not satisfy uh, the inequality then any interval containing that point cannot be a solution so I'm gonna choose to take the test points uh, on the boundary so I'm gonna try h equals 14 and I'm gonna test for equality because the thing the the inequality cannot fail to be in up uh, to be true at any point except starting on the boundary point because the left side and the right side of, of this inequality are both continuous. So 2h plus 8, I'm going to test for equality, okay, 3h minus 6, so 2 times 14 plus 8 uh, equals 3 times 14 minus 6, and in fact you get 28. So this is an, still a question, plus 8 is 36, and the question is, is this equal to uh, 3 times 14, uh, I'm sorry, 3 times 14 is 42, 42 minus 6, which is equal to 36, so that is true. So if 14 is, in fact, the correct boundary point, that means that choice 2 is not the answer, and choice 4 is not the answer. So how do I eliminate the choice between 1 and 3? Uh, I'm going to take a test point now that's in this interval. Uh, how about h equals 0? H, 0 is less than 14, so that would prove if 0 satisfies the inequality, then that, that would prove that 0 is a part of the solution set. Uh, and if it's not part of the solution set, then that would prove that h, equals, uh, h is greater than 14. So uh, h equals 0. So 2h plus 8 is greater than uh, 3h minus 6. So 0, uh, 2 times 0 plus 8 greater than 3 times 0 minus 6. So 0 plus 8 greater than 0 minus 6. And 8 is greater than negative 6, which is definitely true, which proves that this is the correct solution and this is not the answer. And we could take a test point, any other test point, in fact, we could take another one, h greater than 14 or any h to, to, to finally check our answer. But we're gonna go to another method, which is a to also a totally valid method of, of checking your answer. But we wanna have as many methods as possible under our toolkit. And it's the, what, what, what I would call the actual method of solving this, uh, the algebraic method. When I say the actual method, uh, what I mean is the method that they probably want you to use on the test. You, you could use whatever method you want as long as you get the right answer. It's a multiple choice question. But uh, 2h plus 8 is greater than 3h minus 6. I'm gonna, I prefer to get h on the left side. Subtract, subtract 3h. <clears throat> I got negative h plus 8 is greater than negative 6 subtract 8 subtract 8 and I got that cancels I got negative h is greater than negative 14 and then divide by negative 1 divide by negative 1 
and you got uh, H is less than 14, which is the same answer as we got before. Okay, and so that confirms that this is the right answer, and we can check by choosing any number that's less than 14. We've already checked H equals 0, and we, we can let any other, let's say H equals 10, plug it in. You plug it in, check the answer is correct, uh, it, it is in fact correct, so the answer is choice 1. Okay, uh, so here's another problem that uh, was created by us. At this point, uh, you should pause the video, try the problem on your own, and when you're finished, press play to see our solution. By the way, uh, the way we're able to provide these tutorials for free is by having viewers like you see these videos. So if you like what you see, click the like button, subscribe, let your school friends know that uh, we're providing these videos. Uh, we're providing them in algebra, geometry, algebra 2, trig, bio, chem, physics, a lot of other stuff. Uh, so look out for those. Uh, here's the solution to this question. What is the solution set to the inequality? Negative 3w minus 5 is less than or equal to uh, one half, negative 1 half w plus 8. So I'm going to go by a, a third method. You could do the graphing method. I hope you paused and tried it on your own. Uh, but I'm going to go by the graphing method. Okay. Uh, so method 3 is graph um, and the graph and calculator is going to produce a, a graph like this negative 3w minus 5 is going to look like this oops it's going to look like that and neg uh, one negative 1 half w plus 8 is going to look like that okay so they're going to have an intersection point somewhere around here and so that's going to be our boundary point somewhere around here. Well, we got to check that's not helpful if we're doing it on paper, but it gives us at least an, an inkling of what the solution should look like. It's going to be a negative number. Okay, so I'm going to let the first function be negative 3x minus 5. And I'm going to let the second function be uh, negative 1 half uh, times x uh, plus 8 okay and I'm gonna go to my table uh, and go to uh, change my independent value to ask which means that I'm gonna change I'm gonna choose what x values I test on the table okay so I'm gonna choose in this case the boundary points I see are negative 26 over 5 or uh, just negative 26 over 5. So I should get the same answer as a quick check uh, that tw uh, 26 divided by 5. As a check, these numbers should be the same, 10.6. So that's a good check that I've entered the uh, left side and the right side correctly. So now I'm going to enter something that will verify either one of these inequalities. I'm going to plug in the number 0. That's what I'm, If 0 is an option, why not plug it in? And I see that y1 is negative 5, y2 is uh, 8, so that the left side is smaller than the right side. So z whichever of these contains 0 is a correct answer. 0 is not less than negative 26, or, or negative 26 over 5 nor equal. 0 is not equal to negative 26 over 5. 0 is greater than or equal to negative 26 over 5. And also 0 is not equal to negative 26 over 5. Uh, so we need to test another number that doesn't satisfy choice 4. Something like, let's say, that. so it can't be greater than negative 26 over 5, so it has to be something less than negative 26 over 5. How about negative 100? Negative 100. Definitely less than negative 26 over 5. Okay, so we've plugged in uh, x equals negative 100. Uh, and on the left side, we get 295. 295 is less than or equal to uh, 58, which is clearly false. So we expect uh negative 100 to not be part of the solution set uh negative 100 is not part of the solution set as expected but negative nine uh, negative 100 is part of the solution set so this one has to be false which means that choice three is in fact the answer uh so now we have three methods of solving it make sure to review this uh 
I know you can do it. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next video starting right now.